What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I would like to talk about the trader role. I've been taking my time with these roles trying to, you know, just enjoy them. I finally hit rank 20 with the trader a few days ago. Today I'd like to give you a few tips about the trader that hopefully will help you out. If you do not know these tips yet, some of these you may have already heard. But the main thing is always carry Crips carcasses. So you want to carry him the whole carcass. You don't want to skin it. You don't want to carry him, you know, just individual pelts. You don't want to carry him feathers. A whole animal carcass is the best. So panthers, cougars, whitetail bucks, whitetail deer, pronghorns are going to be the most animal parts that you're going to get for that very top bar when you go see Crips. That is the bar that, you know, it takes a while to fill that up. You know, it takes a lot of animals to be able to fill this up. So a whole animal carcass is the best. Those animals that I just listed, three star pelts from those animals will give you the most production out of that top bar. will fill that bar up the quickest. Smaller animals, rabbits are okay and turkeys are okay, but anything else really doesn't help. So before you hit level 10, let's say you're like level 2 in the trader. You don't have the hunting wagon yet that you get at level 10. I would recommend you put your camp up somewhere close where you can know you can hunt you know, fairly easily. I know animal spawns are kind of screwed up right now. Go out and get you one of those animals that I listed. Go out and get you a buck or a deer or a pronghorn that's three star. Throw that on the back of your horse. Get you maybe two uh, three star rabbits, two three star turkeys. Take that back and just rinse and repeat. Keep doing that until you get to level 10. Now along the way you will get resupply missions. The resupply missions always do those. They give a lot of XP towards the trader. It will rank you up quickly. And of course to begin with all you have is a small wagon. So it'll only take, uh, you know, up to, all you can take is 25 items on your first, you know, or each trip until you get the medium wagon. So once you hit 25 items, go do a local delivery. Local is the best. Long range deliveries don't really pay out too much more. And of course, uh, you know, any normal, you know, just player in the lobby can also attack your kind of delivery and steal all your stuff, kill you, whatever the case may be. So do local deliveries and then just go back and rinse and repeat. Uh, then once you get a little bit more into the to the trader, you hit level 10, you know, you have medium wagon, then you can carry 50 items at a time. I would still recommend doing local deliveries even when you can carry 50 items. But once you hit 10, you also get two other things that really help out a lot. The first thing is the efficiency pamphlet. The efficiency pamphlet gives you 25% more animal parts from each carcass you carry. So now when you carry Crips a few carcasses, it fills that bar up a little faster. Also, that hunting wagon is very helpful. The hunting wagon can hold five large animals or ten small animals. I would always recommend putting five large animals in there. The small animal, small animals don't give you as much production on that top bar that is not filled up as quickly. So if you can go out and get five deer, uh, five pronghorns, you know, anything like that, that will fill that bar up very fast. It will also hold 50 pelts. Now this is very useful because while you're out looking for your five animals you want to carry back to Crips, your five carcasses, you can also do some hunting and skin a lot of animals and that can be some extra money along the way. That way you can take all your animal skins to the butcher and sell those skins and you will also be getting carcasses for Crips for your production of your trading company. So keep that in mind when you're out looking for your carcasses with the hunting wagon, also be killing some animals and skinning them. That way you can make some extra cash along the way. Then once you can unlock the large supply wagon, you can carry up to a hundred items on delivery. Now this takes a long time. Uh, it takes about two hours and 40 minutes, two hours and 45 minutes, almost three hours for Crips to produce all these animal parts into a hundred items for delivery. I still do local deliveries personally. I mean, long range delivery gives you about $120 more. A local delivery will always give you 500 bucks when you have a hundred items, when you have the large wagon. So just keep that in mind. You can do whichever you want, but the long range deliveries take probably 10, 15 minutes to do. I always just do local del deliveries because they're pretty quick. And of course, like I said, it's 500 bucks. So it's not bad at all. Like I said, guys, these are just some things that I've learned along the way. The most important thing I can say is find a good area for your camp where you know there's going to be animals and also an area where there's a town close. Because once you hit 10, the process slows down a bit. Of course, you have to go do resupply missions. But once you're at 10, you have that pamphlet that gives you 25% more. You have the wagon. You do not have to go out and hunt as often. You can keep that top bar, the animal part bar, pretty full most of the time. So you need something else to do. So either you can go out and hunt, like I said, collect pelts, sell those to a butcher, 
or another reason it's good to be close to a town is you can go out and either do collector, you know, your collector roll, or you can go out and grab a few bounties off the bounty board. By the time you do two bounties off the bounty board, usually you're going to have to go out and hunt for some more animals, or Crips will have a resupply mission ready, or he will even have, you know, if you're getting close to finishing out your delivery, he'll have that delivery ready. It's a good thing to make money in between time while you're waiting because the trader does make a good bit of money, but it takes several hours to make a large amount of money. So just keep in mind, uh, you do some other things along the way, uh, especially when you get around rank 10 and on up. That way you can make more money while you're waiting on your deliveries to get finished. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. I hope these tips were useful. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.